says in the book of first peter chapter 4 verse 15 but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer are as a busybody those are gossipers backbiters are in other men's matters you know do you not know there are a lot of people who are suffering because you're just nosy are you a backbiter are you a gossiper you may say oh preacher warren i have a lot of enemies well sometimes you can make enemies by the wrong that you do to them if you're chasing after another woman's husband are you trying to take another man's wife right there you're making an enemy everybody's not suffering for the name's sake of Jesus. Look what the Bible said. I'm gonna read it again. First Peter chapter number four, verse 14, verse 15 rather. But let none of you suffer as a murderer. You in jail because you murdered somebody. Or as a thief, you a robber. Or as an evildoer. Or as a busybody in other men's matters. Many of you are doing witchcraft against people. That stuff backfires. Especially when you work witchcraft against a child of God. Ain't no weapon that formed against the child of God shall prosper. You'd be surprised how many people people sitting around got wicker in the house, burning candles, got voodoo dolls. They spend eight hours trying to put a curse on somebody's marriage because they're jealous. You know what happens? It backfires before you know it. They get into a car accident or someone kills them. Whatever evil that you wished on somebody else, it backfired against that person. Now they end up in the news. Don't suffer as an evildoer or rather suffer being a Christian. They that live godly in Christ shall so suffer persecution. But I have news for you. David also said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver you out of them all.